With all the recent changes to Super Monkey, guys, Super Monkey has been used a lot more recently inside of All Masters, and there's one Super Monkey strategy that has rose above all the other ones, and that is Engineer, Super Monkey Farm, and Churchill. So today, I'm going to be taking a crack at this strategy and seeing how good it is. So let's hop right into it. All right, guys, our first match of today's video is against Orange Rhino 1491. And guys, I'm using the Super Monkey strategy every one of my tournament was using, and I haven't really used it much in the channel here before, so I'm excited about it and it's engineer super monkey farm with a uh, churchill the churchill can be switched between sentai churchill and normal churchill um i kind of go over that over the video why you want to use either one in certain scenarios but yeah looks like my opponent is starting with the boomerang there i'm gonna start with my sentai right about here come on place perfect got my sentai down that's what you love to see galactic tank form indeed and yeah we'll continue max eco in here and we'll see how this plays out put this on last real quick first last Nothing to worry about. First. Last. All right. A little bit of Sentai Churchill targeting, and I feel like we're doing pretty good here. First. Perfect. They got their Captain Jericho down. So they're going Jericho with Boomerang here. Maybe Boomerang Farm Mortar. I'm not exactly sure what their Boomer strategy is here. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see what Boomerang strategy they're opting for here, but definitely interesting to see the Boomerang. Definitely very interesting. They go for a second Boomerang here. I'm going to go for my farm. I'm going to go for my first farm here. But yeah, Engineer Super Monkey uh, Farm is the loadout. Now, why do people run Churchill with this loadout, you might ask, instead of like Adora? Um, the thing with Adora, if you run a loadout like this with Adora, your early game is going to be absolutely awful. Um, Adora pretty much just offers you nothing for early game. It's only a late game oriented hero. Having something like Churchill allows you to get some really good farms in the early game. Defend some of the hard rushes like round 11, round 13, especially with a Churchill level 3 ability. And it just provides you more value overall, um, believe it or not. So yeah, that's why we're bringing Churchill here. Now, okay, let's go for greater production here. We're going to get defense for white balloons for sure. White balloons are something that, white balloons and black balloons, not just white balloons, are something that we're going to have to prepare for. So I'm going to go for a engineer right here. Okay. And I'm going to go for a second engineer pretty soon as well. I'll try, not really sure about the placements of these guys, to be honest. We're going to try this spot though. We're gonna try this spot. I've, I've used the strategy before, but I've never really used it on Dino Graveyards, this thing. I've used it a lot on, like, Oasis. Oasis is the one map where the strategy is fantastic on, but Dino Graveyard, I feel like it can work on if you just cook well. If you're just a good chef with it. I get faster engineering here. I put these guys. Yeah, these guys aren't strong as well. Okay, how's this doing? How's this doing? How is this performing here so far? Seems like it's de it's handling decently. We got all of these guys on last, yeah. There's a couple balloons that are kind of sneaking by the Churchill, but it... Oh, there's a black balloon that snuck by. That's not exactly what I want. Maybe I should have gotten this to oversized nails. Yeah, I probably should upgrade this first energy to oversized nails. But at this point, since I haven't done it, I'm not going to do it anyways. We're just going to get this uh, plantation up. Perfect. And now we're going to get sprockets up here pretty soon. Oh, no. Come on. We're fine. We're fine. Nothing to worry about. Now we need to save up for um, cleansing foam on my engineer. For sure. Do I need to boost this? Let's boost. Yeah, we're good. Let's get this up to a century expert here. All right. Cleansing foam. We've almost got Sentai level three back. I think we're fine here. I think we're fine. Put this on first. First, let's clear this obstacle. All right, yeah, early game is an issue with this load. I think I the, I could have avoided a lot of those leaks if I just had oversized nails on my first engineer there, which I never really bought, but it's all good. It's all good at the end of the day. We're alive. We're fine. We've got my plantation. Now. I've got my cleansing foam down. We've got my century expert down. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Now, something I actually kind of want to save up for here is a. Okay, let's use. Well, all of these are on last still. That's not good. Am I good against this Churchill ability? Yeah. Why are all the centuries placing over here as well? It's a little bit annoying. Am I fine here? I hate this. 
Dude, why are all the sentries placing on the left instead of right here? This is where I need you guys. Oh my gosh, bro. What am I... The sentries are selling me, dude. Why are all of you placing over here? This is a terrible sentry spot. Okay. Well, this is not a good position to be in, guys. I'll be honest. This is not what you want your gameplay to look like with this loadout. We're, we're, we're learning the ropes right now. Obviously, it's not the sentry expert spot you want. I feel like you probably want to place it like right here instead, but... Dang, dude. The problem there was just the entire rush was getting past the start, and I just had nothing to clean it up at the end. All the sentries are placing all the way on the left here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there about that. Okay, he's sending me some stuff now. Is every Oh, everything's still on last, by the way, which is not good. I just realized that as well. I think I'm good against this. I don't need to use Churchill ability. The trap cleans up. Yeah, we're good. Let's use Churchill ability against this. Let's target my cleansing foam in a better spot as well. Okay, we actually have some traps down here, thankfully. So I feel like we're good against this Moab. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. All right. After all the dust settles and is clear, we're still alive, which is really what it comes down to at the end of the day, guys. We are still alive. We're still cooking. We're still doing great here. But man, dude, that was that's that's a rough start. I'll be honest. Hopefully, though, the future games of this video will be a lot cleaner because, again, I'm not practiced at all with this loadout. We've got double trap now. We've secured the double trap. Because we want to make a lot of money from Zayar Blooms. I'm going to go for a little bit more eco. Not a ton of eco this game. Probably like 1,500 in total. But okay, he's sending me two Moabs. We're just going to use Churchill ability against this. Churchill ability solos it pretty well. Yeah, we're good. We're good. He's sending me another Moab. Okay, let's go for a Super Monkey here. We want to go for a third balloon trap, actually. Okay, this is going to be a controversial play. I'm going to sell this for a third balloon trap. Because the thing about round 21 AI is there's an absurd amount of camel balloons on this round. And I really... A third amount of balloons in total in this round. And I really just want to make sure I eat it all with my balloon traps. Yeah, the balloon traps still actually did not handle every single balloon there, believe it or not. But we're good. All right, 1200 eco. Come on. Come on. He's starshipping something. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Okay, it's a ZMG. Um, crap. The CMG is farther than I'd like it to be. We're good. I did not even need this trap, to be honest. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. We're alive. Oh my gosh, dude. Nothing to worry about at all, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing to worry about at all here. We're good at the end of the day. That was those were some rough rounds. Though, I'll be honest. This was this was a rude awakening for the strategy, bro. I made I probably made like a million and a half mistakes here. Um. Okay. So something I'd like to do this game is get up around twenty five. Around twenty five monkey Wall Street would be nice if I can get that. If I can achieve that, I'd be happy. So this sells for eight k. That's sixteen k. That's like twenty sixteen k. That's like twenty seven k of total selling. Okay. 27k of total selling. I'm not even sure if I afford, to be honest. Yeah, let's actually just not go for it, because we've got DDTs that are an issue next round. And thing is, my opponent's in a terrible spot here, because I can send them fortified DTs as well. Yeah, they're sending, they go for turbo charges on their side. It's 
send him one. They have to boost and turbocharge this. They're dead. Yeah, they use their turbocharges only on the back half of the map there. They need to use it at the start as well. Okay. Well, that was a good first game to grab the ropes of the strategy. No, I think this next game will go a lot more clean than the first match. I'll definitely not make as many mistakes. And I'll catch you all in it. Guys, our next match here is on the map of Star. I feel like this map is a little bit better for Churchill than Dino Graveyard. So I probably won't have as many early game difficulties here. So I'm excited for it. But I think we're against the same exact opponent as last match, which is kind of funny. Um, They're going Science Window in here. So I assume they're going Boat Ice Farm. So yeah, we're going to start with my Churchill here. Of course. Of course, of course. And we'll see how this plays out. Let's get my Churchy down right about here. Perfect. Might leak a little bit early game, but who cares about that? And yeah, we will um, just eco on here. Will be the plan. Just eco on like Donkey Kong, you know what I'm saying? Let me put some last for a second. Last, first. Just try to micro the targeting a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's actually see if I can get a um get a farm down before this round ends. That'd be pretty nice if I can accomplish that. Get our farm down, yep. So we can get a banana early on the boat ice farm player. Yep, look at that. That's perfect. All right, put this on last now. Just micro the targeting here. And we will keep on ecoing. We will keep on max ecoing here. It's great. Actually, I should probably sit in space balloons here towards them because space balloons do force leaks on Bodice Farm early game. So, forcing some leaks could be beneficial to me. Could be beneficial. They use their cocktail. Okay, so we'll send group balloons while they have the cocktail down. And then we'll send some spaced pinks now. That'll be the plan. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Nothing to worry about there. It, greater production. Nice. Okay. They got their grape shot up, so they're chilling on their side with the grapes. They're chilling. They're chilling. We just want to get this plantation down as soon as possible now. Actually, do I go for a second farm? There could be some merit in going for a second farm, but I think I'm just going to go for an engineer here. First. Get sentries on this guy. I think we'll put sentries on strong, main guy on last. Will be the plan. Now I don't know how many upgrades I need to do on this guy to be able to defend black balloons, but we'll do sentries strong, main guy last, and we'll get oversized nails on this as well. We'll do sentries and oversized nails, and we'll see how this handles black balloons. I feel like this will handle though. I feel like this will handle. The thing you have to be careful about is always targeting your sentries on strong here, because um it automatically targets your sentries on last if your main guy's on last, so. Always targeting sentries on strong here is something that I've got to maintain throughout this defense. Strong. Yep, we're good. We're good. They go for a second farm on their side. That's fine. Strong. Perfect. Nothing to worry about here. We're doing great. We're doing great. One more eco boost to get my plantation up. One more eco boost. Yep, there's the plantation. No black balloons have snuck by yet, so that's great to see. Uh, I think we cross path it here, to be honest. I'm not against Jericho, so I don't have to worry about Jericho camos or anything. I don't have to get an early cleansing form. I feel like we just cross path it. We go for that little cross path action. Now we get fa faster engineering on this guy. And then we'll get sprockets as well in a little bit. Perfect. Start. This start has been so much better than the, the last one, dude. I'm a lot more comfortable on this map, at least, than, uh, than Dino Graveyard. I didn't really know what I was doing on Dino Graveyard, to be honest. My it, my engineer placements might have been bad. My targeting might have been bad. I had really no clue what I was doing. So, you guys could probably tell that as well. All right, let's put this guy on first now. We'll get the Sentry Expert up. They went for a plantation on their side, which is fine. They have Boat Ice Farm, so you can greed a little bit more with Boat Ice Farm on these early rounds. I'm not really too upset about being out-farmed here. Not really too upset about it. And then, yeah, if he sends me, um, if he sends me camo balloons of some sort, I can upgrade a cleansing foam. I can also use church ability against camo balloons, though, so we have some answers to that. Great production on the second farm. They got their ice shards up, it looks like. Nicely done. Yeah, yeah we've got all these on first. The sentries are actually placing in good locations this time, which is also fantastic, so I appreciate that. Yeah, let's go double plant here.
If he rushes me, I get up a cleansing foam. Still no rush from them, to be honest. They're playing this pretty passively, which is interesting. I definitely thought they'd rush me here. Oh, uh, let's use Churchill ability against this. Okay, that was like two sets of camo. That actually might have been only one set of camo region rainbows, but still, that's a decently sized rush. So, I mean, I'm not really too upset about using that because that's an $800 rush that gives you like no eco. So, using Churchill ability against that's not a terrible decision. Um, but yeah, what, we're, what we want to do now is go for a little, what's it called? A little balloon trap would be nice. Well, actually, do I need a balloon trap yet? Probably not. I was thinking about getting a balloon trap early, but like, I don't even need a balloon trap early because they have, um, they have church, they have, they have Gwendolyn here. I don't have Jericho camels coming at me. So I'm not going to get as many, much balloon trap income here, right? So I'll actually hold off on the balloon trap a little bit. I didn't even need to go for this double gun here. We'll hold off on the balloon trap for a little bit longer. The only reason I went for it early last time is because I was against Jericho, so all the AI balloons were a lot stronger. All the AI balloons were much stronger there. Yeah, we should be good against this. I don't think I need to do anything against a Moab, to be honest. Um, are we fine? Let's actually use Churchill ability, because I'm scared. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I'll be honest. Don't really like using Churchill ability against a mob there, I'll be honest, but I got scared. Yeah, they're not sending me a fortified mob behind it, even though I don't have Churchill ability available, which I definitely thought they would. Okay, I got my balloon trap down. Oh, let's actually target this cleansing foam now, so then it decamos stuff into the trap. Pretty important. Pretty important here. And we're going to stop my eco. Yeah, 1700 eco is fine. We'll stop my eco right there. Do go for a second trap, actually? I kind of like the idea of a second trap. Especially because there's some ceramics on this round. That I'd like to eat it up in both the traps. There's some ceramics that come out here. Yep, look at this. I want to make sure I'm eating these guys yummy, yummy in my tummy. You know what I'm saying? Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Okay, we got an AI mob coming out. We should be good against this. How much does this guy sell for? I kind of want to sell this for farms, to be honest. 3.3k. Yeah, it's sell you now. Get that up. Perfect. All right, we're looking good here. Yeah, we're in a really good spot, in all honesty. We're in a great spot. And we'll prep for around 23 Monkey Wall Street here will be the plan. I think around 23 Monkey Wall Street is a... um. A good thing to do here. Now they're sending me a ZMG, which I do need to um I do need to respect it, obviously. ZMG is something that could ruin my day, but I still think I can go for Monkey Wall Street here. We'll slow it down. No way, bro. Overclock. Okay, we get that up. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Let's get a decamo thing up. Let's use this. Let's use this. Let's boost. Okay, we're good. Nothing to worry about. Let's get up uh, another balloon trap up here. We can sell that guy. All right, we're fine. Nothing to worry about, ladies and gentlemen. We're good, we're good. I've played this match so much better than the previous one. So much better. We'll overclock the farm here. And we'll get this up to a banana research facility now. Perfect. They're sending um, AI Moabs coming out. Let's actually get a super monkey here. We should be good against this. Yeah, we're chilling. Nothing to worry about. Let's actually move my farmer as well next to my traps. I should have had that move to my traps on the earlier rounds, but I kind of forgot about it. I kind of forgot about it a little bit. I'll be honest, guys. No, I'm literally... Do I get it up? Come on. Oh, I already got that one back. Okay, I didn't even need to sell the trap. Oh, well. I want to just save up for a... um For a banana research... Uh, banana central now. This sells for, what, 15k? So I need... 
I need 51k roughly. So we'll get that pretty soon. We're we'll banana central pretty soon here. I need 51k. No, I didn't have overclock on in this round. That's bad. Well. Oh well there. Okay, I need to make sure these things are overclocked now. Overclocking these guys is extremely important. Get knocked back on this. We've got double overclocks, that's great. Another farm. Yeah, we'll just keep max farming here. They are out farming me, guys, which might seem bad, but honestly, it's kind of expected when they have boat ice farm. No way, I'm so bad at this game, bro. I'm so bad at this game, bro. What am I doing? Why did I go to Tech Terror there? And I boosted against that too. I I thought there were like camo balloons mixed in with that, and my Sun Avatar didn't have camo detection that I built. That was a big throw. That was a big throw, I'll admit it. That was a very big throw that I just did against that defense. Um Okay, well, that sucks. On the bright side, we still have good farms, but that definitely put me behind where I'd like to be. Yeah, I didn't defend those ceramics well at all. That's a problem. Okay, let's go for a um, anti-bloon here. Come on. There we go. Keeps going strong. Overclock him. I need this anti bloom to actually start dealing damage. Would be pretty nice. That'd be pretty nice if it started dealing some damage here. I probably should have cycled the ability with it too. To be honest, but... We'll boost this. Oh, I didn't have... I'm dead. I'm dead. I played that so poorly, dude. I don't know what I'm doing late game, bro. I like sold everything for a couple ceramic rushes and then I wasn't microing my anti balloon ability. I got up the tech terrors late. Oh, bro. I'm washed, bro. I'm washed. Okay, we gotta do a third match. We gotta do a third and final match. I gotta redeem myself here. I don't know what I'm doing with this strategy, dude. All right, here we go, guys. I have one last chance to redeem myself. We're on the map Sun Palace here with um, Engineer Super Monkey Farm once again. So, yeah, we're going to start with our Sentai Churchill, of course. I feel like I know my mistake I made the last late game. I just was... I didn't sell my farms is the big problem. I should have just sold, like, a lot of my farms once the first F-Bad came out so I could defend it faster because I thought the Anti-Balloon would, one, defend it uh, pretty much entirely, which it didn't. So, um... That kind of surprised me, and then I, because of that, I was chasing so much from defending the first death bad that the future ones just wouldn't pop. Um, but yeah, if I just sold my farms initially and defended the first first death bad a lot cleaner, then I don't think I would have had as many issues against the future ones. It was my main takeaway there of what I could have improved on. But obviously, the the ceramics thing was an issue as well. Like my sun avatar was going to defend their ceramic rush, and then I sold my monkey Wall Street for a tech tear, and it just got messy there. But it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. This game, hopefully, we'll be able to clean it up a little bit and um, have a good one here against uh, AKA140, who's starting with the Dark Monkey and the Highwayman Jericho. So I assume there's probably going to be Dart Sub Farm here from them, is what I'm expecting. Dart Sub Farm is what I'm expecting here, but we'll have to wait and see on that front. Got my farm down, though. Got my farm down. I think I'll place my Engineer probably, like, right here. Be my Engineer spot, I think. 
be a fine spot for the NG right here. Yeah, that should work. That should work out. Actually, let's actually sell these though and move them because I kind of want to place, I'm probably going to place my cleansing foam over there where my farmers were currently. Let's balloon boost these pink balloons at them. It looks like they're leaking a little bit, so let's make some, let's make them leak some more. Why not do that? Yeah, before us a second dart. I don't know about that second dart placement though. That's, I'm not sure about that one, bro. I'm not sure about that placement. They go for a spolt there. Okay. Okay. They hit me with the oops. It looks like it's defending actually decently. Okay. Never mind. Maybe that is, maybe they're cooking guys. Maybe they're cooking. Maybe I was a little bit rough on them. Maybe I should just let them cook. Can I not fit a second farm here? Oh, I can. Look at that. Wait, come on. Fit. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to have to use Sentai ability against these black balloons and stuff. That's fine. Let's use Sentai ability here. Let's get Sentries up. Wait. First. Okay, we're good. All right, this should be able to defend pretty well. We're good, we're good. I got my sentry guy upgraded. And then we're gonna go for a second greater production farm here will be the plan. A second greater production farm. And then I'll save it for my cleansing foam. And that should work out pretty well for me. I'm not gonna go for a, um, I'm not gonna go for a early plantation this game because I'm against Jericho and the rounds are getting anti-stalled a lot. So I feel like early plantation might be a little bit too greedy for me here on this map. Okay. Cleansing foam will go, where do I want to put my cleansing foam? Like right here is a fine spot, to be honest. Right here. They get, oh, it's mortar, it's not sub, it's mortar. Okay, interesting. Did not expect mortar here. Okay, we're good against those, we're good against those camel balloons. Sprockets. I'm actually kind of still a bit off of affording this guy. Yeah, if he rushes me round 11, this is, Bad news for me. I'm going to have to boost. No round 11 rush, actually. Okay, so we don't boost. We got my oversized nails up. We're good. Okay, they got their defense up with the mortars. Nicely done. They got their decamel mortar up as well. Let's just continue sending them some spaced rainbows. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find position now. I'm going to find position now. Maybe keep one of these sentries on last. I can micro the targeting. Just so it shoots down the line. And then, yeah, round 14, hopefully I get up a second pla a plantation on my side will be the plan. And after I get that plantation up, I want to save up for a um a balloon trap will be good for me. After I get plantation up. Alright, come on. Give me the money. Give me the money. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Got my plant up. Which you love to see. It's got like 700 eco or so before... I know they have, don't have that much defense down right now, but it's fine. Okay, there's so many purple balloons. Purple balloons aren't going to touch me. Yeah, we're good against those. We're good against those there. With our defense. Rainbows. Depends on the size of the rush. Am I good against this? I think I am. Dude, the sentries actually just shredded that rush. Holy cow. The sentries actually destroy that rush. I feel like it's sometimes RNG if you defend rushes or not, because it's like dependent on the sentries you get from your sentry expert, right? Some of the sentries are really good against balloons, some of them aren't, so it's almost RNG based, which I kind of don't like, but I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is there. Okay, soon I can get this balloon trap up. One more eco boost. Let's actually target this cleansing foam now behind the trap. Perfect. You force sold my farm. That's fine. One mob is not going to do anything to me. Two moabs will. Let's use turbo damage laser bombs here. All right. Let's get my. Let's get a super monkey here. We should be fine against these. He sent like what four moabs there. That was a pretty big rush, but we're good against it. I think that was four Moabs, if I remember correctly. He hits me with good game. I don't know what good game's about. The game's not over, brother. The game's not over. Oh, he's selling his farm. Is he all outing me? We're gonna boost this. Okay, 
Yeah, this should defend on boost. Yeah, we're good. Not even close. Not even close. Not even close. The second balloon trap clutched up there. This defends. This defends. Robo Monkey is actually broken as crap. I don't know why it's targeting the end of the map though, but yeah, this definitely defends. All right. Oh, I kind of want to defend this BFB as well. I feel like the Robo Monkey soul is the BFB too, though. Let's get up a balloon trap for the AI. Oh, they're dead the AI. Okay. Well, you know, we went two for one in today's video. I feel like I could have won that second match, honestly. I just, I made a lot of mistakes towards later game rounds with the ceramic defend and then I waited to sell my farms too long against the BADs and I let them push too far, but we, we learned the ropes a little bit with the strategy. So I, I feel like it was a fun met video and um yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe button with your forward. We're on the road to 50k subscribers, so I'd really appreciate it. Ramlock out. Peace, lads.